<laughs> Keegan was sitting there. She was saying uh, she looked up all the breeds of cats in Egypt. Yeah. She's like, they only have three breeds. No, they have okay, four. I don't understand One, that. That's not true. <laughs> no, no, no. But when she says, Egypt. no, but when she says they have, what does that mean? Does that mean that they live there? Egypt? Has that's produced bred three, three yeah, different breeds. That's, that's but what that's I not thought. true. There are more than that. Right, but that's what I was saying. I was like, you can't look up breed of cat from Egypt because that may mean that they were bred, Egypt bred created, those created cats. Those, right, but Egypt created those breeds. It's Egypt. They well, have a cat goddess. Of course there are going to be cats. So and also, she w- needs a cat. As soon as she sees one, it doesn't matter what the breed is. Right. <laughs> It's like it's as like long her as it eating, doesn't claw at her. Her eating uh, ducks. It doesn't really matter what kind of duck yeah, it no, is. She it, just cares about eating the duck. Because she was ducks. like, I want a, a long hair cat that's like really fluffy. And it's like, dude, as That'd soon be as you so cruel. as soon as you lock eyes with one of those cats, you're gonna want it. It doesn't matter what well, kind of cat it is. It I could said be to her, I said, Keegan, could you imagine having long, fluffy hair in the desert? I mean, it's 97 <laughs> degrees there right now. Yep. I'm you like, think, that would uh, be short so hair. mean. You think well, short, not if it lives there. A short one, no. Maybe. True. But I have said for... You can always go hairless. I yeah. don't know what. That's 20, the Sphinx cat. 20 years I want an Egyptian Mao. <clears throat> that Skippy John Jones looking cat, he comes from... That's not a Mao, is it? No, 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 no. But he comes from Egypt. But the Sphinx. I feel like it's only right that you get a Sphinx cat in Egypt. Right? That'd be awesome. What's a sphinx cat? They're That's the hairless, hairless ones. ones. They're called sphinx well, Why cats. are they called sphinx cats? That's what they're called. Oh. <laughs> I don't want no <laughs> Looks like a wet cat. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a wet chicken. <laughs> Literally would not want that. I, lo- I love that how... Because yeah, that episode okay, of no, Friends... The whole idea... <laughs> Gunther is like, is the this whole a snake or something? The whole idea of petting a cat <laughs> yeah. is the fur. Yeah. I don't want to do this. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't want to. I and, and myself the, then. The skin all bunching up and no, that's not. That's not <laughs> having. I pet myself then. <laughs> no, I, I, cat's got to have some fur. Short hair is fine. Long hair is fine, but it can't. It can't be just a hairless I thing. Want a <laughs> no, that's. Can not I have cool. an ocelot? No, a mate. No, is that a They're like wild. Egypt. What are you talking about? Well, an ocelot is 100% wild. So is a serval. Okay, I don't think anybody think brought serval, that up either. I think a serval is a... Cats are not domesticated. I don't care what I mean, anybody no, says. Right. No, right, cats are not domesticated, but the... They just allow us to let them the, live in their our house. The idea of, you know, that'd be like, you know, can I get a baby tiger? It's like, no. Yeah. No, that no. would be a bad idea. Watch the Tiger King. <laughs> you want a little tiger? No. baby one, oh, give it some snuggles. I see. They, they, I think maybe you need to visit them, like in Thailand. You visit, you pet, uh-huh. you feed for a second, and then you move and on. Take a picture and move on. Next family, yeah. come on over, say hi to the tiger, and then move on. Yeah. That's the best way to interact with the tiger. No, I want to go to Kenya to the big cat place. Spend a week there with the big cats. Spent it. So I can feed the baby lions and the baby tigers and. Yeah, you go all right, ahead are you guys do done that. with the with the? All the I have Egypt to now. All I have to say with that is we will have more updates game. about the Egypt <clears throat> and about our plight. Our plight <laughs> is just <laughs> continuing. <laughs> you know, our Patreon is going to get updated, which we're going to talk about in a minute, and our our GoFundMe is still out there, which we have to find a way to get moved to Poland off of there. I did. I saw. No, I you did it. not. It is still there. So somehow we got to change our link because it's kind of deceptive or we have to start a whole new one, which I don't want to do. Um, because what the, the, my idea for the GoFundMe was put the GoFundMe out there and then just keep changing its purpose without having to take it down, end it, and start a new one over and over and over. Because basically the GoFundMe is for the podcast. It's for us to do this and bring all of our hyper great content for you, which nobody wants to watch. When, I, lo- when I look at I'm it, I'm the it only does one that watches our videos. To Poland. It is in the 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 HTML the the link. It says move to Poland. Well, there may not be anything I can do to that, about that. See? It's kind of weird. It almost I can't feels, do anything about that. It almost feels like we're starting over. 
yeah, it's like we came back here for a, a short hiatus, and now we have to. And we're we're starting our our expatness over again. It kind of feels like it feels that like going to China bit. for the first yeah. time. Yeah. All right. What's Speaking of the Patreon. All right, so I, I, I went in and, and started thinking about and looking at the levels. So I thought, ways to travel. Car, minivan, motorcycle, train, airplane. So now we got names of levels. But here's the problem. I don't know what to put in the levels. I think I did car. So if you go there, like, right this second, you'll see car. Um, and it's like a shout-out. Right here. How much is it? You'll get a shout out. I uh, see. That's my other problem. Is how much should each level be? Like how much? What's the increment? It should go up. How at? many? How many tiers did you have? One, two, three, four, five. So, like five dollars a tier, or I don't. I really don't know. So we just need some feedback from you guys, and we need you guys to think about it. Go buy two. You want our Six, top eight, tier ten. airplane to be a ten dollar a month thing? Shouldn't that be like more? Like what? I don't know. It's airplane, man. <laughs> uh, an airplane ticket a month? <laughs> no, 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 no. But should it be fifty dollars? You know what I'm saying? Or should it be thirty dollars or twenty dollars or I don't know. So, Karen, we need to we need to hash this out. Okay. Um, uh, fam and, family meeting. And try to figure out what we're going to put in here for these because then the people will have their tiers and they can choose how they want to uh, show their patronage. Business meeting. So that's the Patreon, but it's it's there, of course, as always. The Patreon is there. Um, what else we got? What are you doing? Are you shopping? I am not shopping. Are you playing games? My shopping and my is over. Speaking of shopping in Egypt, FYI, <laughs> no Amazon in the Egypt man land. Really? Yes, but they have lots of jewelry. Oh, they have no wow. Amazon, but... Do they have an equivalent? They have an Amazon run online shopping portal. What does that mean? Amazon runs it. Oh. But so it has, it's, like, it's under a different name, and it kind of is like the same thing, but it's no uh, Amazon. Like a Teo Bale. And you can still, from what I read, still get to Amazon Prime and the video stuff from there without a VPN. Hmm. Now, how Netflix? much can you see? I don't know. Netflix is totally fine. Oh. Netflix will probably be closer to what we got in Mexico. So mm. a lot of those shows that we couldn't watch because we came back to the States, they'll we'll probably be, be available, or at least some of them will be available in Mexico or in Egypt. And we'll have Egyptian shows. And then we'll have whatever, yeah, the local stuff. That'll be interesting. I don't even know. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to bone up on your Arabic. Bone up or learn? I know. <laughs> you're bone up. You know, I never you know, knew it. You know I never knew it in the first you, place. You know some Arabic right now, don't you? No. <laughs> I know nothing. Absolutely. When I first saw I Arabic know. written, I thought it was a fancy pattern. You know that's, <laughs> that. You know what's funny about that is all of the um, mosques that you see that have these beautiful patterns all throughout. That's it's, all writing. It's all it's writing. All, yeah. It's, it's all, all Arabic. No, it's all from the Quran. Right. <laughs> so there is that. Um, Isn't that Arabic? Yeah, it's Arabic, but I'm saying it's it's literal passages from the Quran. Right. And it looks like artwork. It's like it's not it's artwork. Not artwork. It's, it's writing. Just, it's just artsy scripture. Uh huh. It's kind of like how I, when I first saw Thai. See Thai, I don't know. It's kind of it's it's a little it's like really curvy. Yeah, it's kind of swoopy and yeah, curvy. Yeah, yeah. And Beautiful. It, yeah, it looks really nice, and it's usually very contrasty. Like it's gold set on like dark colors. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. It stands out, which would make sense if you're trying to get that message out, right? That it should stand out. Yeah. So we'll see some more of that. I guess that's the other problem with Egypt feeling like part of Africa is you get more Arabic than you get whatever would have been without the influence of Arabia on Egypt. 
whatever that would be today. I don't know what that would be today. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. I'm gonna get a tattoo there. Maybe. Um, you might want to start boning up on those rules of things you can and cannot do in the society. Yeah, I, I looked those up right because, before the internet died. Um, doing, uh, saying anything negative about the country itself, it's like five to ten years in jail. Oh, like Thailand. Cool. But probably more highly more enforced in How Egypt. Is it? On Thailand, you can't say anything. No, like, you're talking about against the crown. I'm no, not no, no, talking no, no, about. No, no, I'm talking no. about against the. They have laws. Anything. In, anything in Thailand, you cannot bash the government. You cannot bash the people. I know, you cannot. But I'm bash not talking about anything. bashing, though. I'm not talking about bashing. I'm talking about just speaking against. Mm. Not, not like in a way like we're gonna, you know, have a march and no, 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 no. I'm talking about a, a much much more calm kind of conversation that you might have that is going to land you in hot water. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I don't like this. Or this thing I'm happened right. and now you're talking about it type thing. So does that mean? That means watch what your ass say. But does that mean we can't do exactly what we're doing well, the we same way? we can talk way. about ourselves. But can you talk about your experience? Sure, you and can talk about your negative. experience. Oh, that's why. But you can't necessarily. Uh, a lot of the things I was reading, and um, yeah, a lot of the things I was reading, it would say in there many times, this is my experience. I don't know what other people experience. This is just what happened with me. This is the thing that I, you know, went it's through. It's not something against. I didn't the see government, other people country, doing this. It was politics, my experience. The, yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, you're allowed to have your own experiences. Okay. I mean, no, I don't think anybody is going to be against you for saying this thing, you know, this guy, you know, tracked me down for an hour to try to buy his T-shirt because I said it, was, it looked nice, which I heard happened. Um, oh, Lord. So, I mean, okay. You just got to kind of, I mean, literally watch what you say. Um... So we got to start paying attention to those kinds of things. Yeah, I feel like it'll be our first Mus fully Muslim country that we're living in. Right, because Thailand before only was partial, and we didn't live in Malaysia. We just visited. Yep. So but if that. it's a Muslim country, you know what that means? Hello. Well, and bum gun. Oh God! But really? no, I don't know why that's a no that's pork a or beef, beef, right? Well, I have beef. Definitely no pork. No pork, I know that. Beef can be halal. Okay. And lamb and camel. Oh, lamb. They do like full lamb. Have you seen that episode of uh, of um, Ugly Delicious. Delicious? Is that what it is? Where he goes to Egypt? I don't remember him going to Egypt. Oh, I no, that was seen, Turkey. He went to Turkey and they did a full lamb shows. in that thing. It's worth watching. I haven't seen It's a that. really good I've show. I've seen like a couple episodes, but I haven't watched it. That was the it's one worth with Chrissy watching. Teigen. All of them are worth watching. Because, you know, if you've never been there, you've never been there, and you get to at least a, a snapshot yeah. of, the, of that world. Maybe in there's food. an Anthony Bourdain where he goes to Egypt. I mean, he was our inspiration in the first place. Yeah, the question is, where are they? <laughs> where are those episodes? Right. You can probably check the YouTube or the... Yeah. Netflix. I don't know if they're on Netflix. There's something Anthony Bourdain on there. Okay, we may have to wrap this up. We have wrap, we are wrapping right now. Yeah. You felt to drop? No, no, it's, oh, raining. it's raining. Okay. Bye, folks. So, <laughs> if you if you want to follow the Traveling Fires, you can find us at the YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, iTunes, Spotify, or the Google Podcast at the Traveling Fires. If you like the uh, Instagram, and the Instagram Twitter. or the Twitters. Traveling Fars, if you like email, where you can email Karen, who is now over there, over there, travelingfars at gmail.com, and the blog space, thetravelingfars.blueberry.net. No ease in the blueberry. Don't forget about the Patreon. Patreon. Patreon.com the, slash uh, the traveling fars. Go fund me thing. We will be updating you. So there we go. We're out of here. Merch and the merch stuff. We'll, the merch stuff, it's all down in the, description. in the description. Everything Do is the in the description. Thing. Everything's in the description. Please don't touch my camera. I'm not touching anything.
it's the waterproof one. It doesn't need you to touch it. I'm not it's touching. it's all the other stuff that needs you to be touched. We are out of here. Say goodbye to the people. Bye, people. Peace. Thank you.